Howdy y'all, welcome to part 23 of my Let's Play series, I'm Regaris, and of course this is the uh, light 2 pack with some uh, additional mods. Uh, we got some changes this week for sure, uh, the number one of course is I got rid of Galactic Craft. Uh, just wasn't really happy with it, uh, it didn't really do anything that added to the game for me. I mean yeah, it added Mars and the moon and... It just, it was tedious to use the uh, spaceships, even though you can uh, use uh, portals or whatever to get around once you get there. It just, uh, it, there just wasn't enough on the planets. I mean, you couldn't, uh, couldn't really mine anything up there. The, the ores were very slim, and it was only like iron, tin, and copper. Uh, so it just wasn't worth it. So I went ahead and got rid of it, uh, and, in, and in place moved a couple new ones into place uh, the first one uh, that we'll talk about of course is magic crops um, added magic crops because I also added um, big reactors and uh, since w when I add new mods I find that I uh, am struggling for the new ores you know I have to either find new ground to to quarry or or whatever now I don't have to so uh, we have these little plots and of course this is from Zeno's reliquary which is another mod that we added these uh, lily pads of fertility they just make this stuff grow faster um, these are actually pretty difficult to make in quantity for me because I don't have like uh, applied energistics on here which uh, I'm really honestly thinking about adding in because it would it would uh, kind of help with another mod that uh, I added in now I'm growing uh, obsidian and gold essence right now just because I want to try out uh, their infused armor that comes with magic crops. Uh, that's the reason I'm growing that. These over here are the uh, the building blocks. These are um, the essence plants and they give you the essence dust and you need these. You can get these either from the plants or you can get these from ore. Now, to get the first... You, you, when I first looked at this mod, my understanding was is you did not get extra seeds uh, from these. That once they grew, you, you got the uh, the item and the seed back, but you didn't get extra seeds. That is incorrect. Um, you get plenty of extra seeds. So really, you only need to start with one of these. Um, if you have Xeno's Reliquary here, it's very easy to... Um, kind of grow them real fast to get enough to kind of farm using the... Uh, the the watering can from extra utilities you just uh kind of fertilize or just hit one of the um the lily pads and you notice how quick it's starting to grow over there i mean it's it's pretty darn near instantaneous when you do it like this so that's the method i kind of used to get the original batch of seeds but to get the essence seeds um you just break grass um i set up and a little thing over here, a little bit of lag. Um, I set up a um, harvester over here and just uh, had it harvest this grass until I had uh, 25 seeds to start with. And uh, not realizing at the time that I probably could have got away with just one. But um, however you want to do it, you, the essence seeds, you need those first to, to grow anything else. And then once I... Uh, once I had the seed, seeds uh, multiple, I've done a lot this week. That's why it's taking so long to put out another one. Um, you'll see here. Uh, down here, these are uranium uh, crops. Now, the reason I, I'm doing the uranium is to um, get yellow right for the big reactors. Now, if you do not have another mod installed called Minechem, and uh, boy, I'm so sorry, I forgot to write his name down, uh, sent me a, a message saying to check out Minechem, and I apologize for forgetting to write your name down. It's really early in the morning. Um, you you need Minechem for the uranium uh, world gen to be able to even grow these. If you don't have it in there, you're not going to be able to do this. Uh, because there is no way to grow yellow right uh, or 
plants yet with this mod. So you do need to have uh, a mod in there that has uh, like uranium in there so that it'll uh, allow you to grow these plants. And uh, what this does is it harvests them. Uh, the actual uranium ore comes out of, or uh, uranium essence comes out of here. And then uh, once eight of these are in here, it makes uh, two uranium ore, gets pulled out, and uh, goes over to our processing center. Um, I also have uh, a laser drill going, and that's what, and it's set to green right now, so it'll get uh, uranium also. That's why I have so many emeralds. I have more emeralds than I can shake a stick at. But to uh, make these crafts, of course, it's very difficult. Um, you need these essence, and then you use the uh, these stones. And to uh, get each stone, you need to make four of the next level of uh, these essence. So it goes from the essence dust to the weak essence to the regular essence, and then you have uh, uh, two higher levels. So to get the uranium seeds, you actually need the highest level of uh, of those essence. If you need me to walk you through making a seed, just let me know, and we'll do that. You know, kinds of noise over there. So right now, I'm trying to make a couple of uh, extra test racks. I'm getting a second turbine going for uh, more power right now, and I'll show you in a second. We're running a big reactor. And, you know, before that, uh, uh, another comment I got was uh, that they have a laser drill, and they, they're they not sure how to power it. And uh, they're, they're talking about with just the, the light two pack. Uh, the Just the standard light two pack is uh, honestly a little hard to generate any massive amount of power. Like this, um, in a previous episode, you know, we talked about it, is the uh, biopower tower. And um, now it's producing more than it's ever produced with Xeno's Rail Aquarium. Because if we go up, you'll see that, uh, you know, there's rows of lily tads of fertility. You notice right now it's it's actually shut off. Um, but if you have Xeno's Rail Aquarium, this will definitely help. This will make them grow faster. Um, that's not optimal, of course. I just had to build it in there. Um, I didn't add it to the pumpkins or, uh, because since we're using seeds, we actually get a lot more from, uh, the pumpkins and the melons than we were from like, uh, wheat or, uh, potatoes or carrots. But this is, this whole thing right here only generates a little over 3000 RF, uh, a tick, all this with, uh, this massive tower, all this set up over here, uh, Everything to, to power it, it's, you know, of course, self-powered over here by the wood. Because we're not using the wood, we're using everything else. Um, you can see everything that goes into here. Each one of these is producing fuel. And all these combined only do about uh, 3,000 a tick. So not very much. Whereas now, uh, I'm only running one max size turbine and I'm doing 24,000 a tick. So a lot more. So let's go over here and finish up on the test rack so I can go down and finish the uh, second turbine. Uh, those should be full. So now we just got to do, uh, I need uh, eight silver. And I need eight Tinker's Alloy over here. Goes, okay, so we got those two test racks. Now we'll go down to the uh, turbine area and we'll take a look at that real fast. In fact, yeah, no, we won't do that. Okay. Now I was wondering where to put these at first, but then, uh, you know, I have this massive area below that I wasn't using. So we'll go down here and check this out. Uh, these are, this is the turbine that's working right now. Uh, this is max size as far as, well, it's not max size, it's max power gen for a turbine. Because the turbine will only use 2,000 millibuckets uh, of steam, period. So you can see this one's producing a little over 24,000 RF a tick. It's uh, almost, it's just shy of the sweet spot, which is uh, 1,800. 
So, and it just won't go any faster than that because it's getting the full 2,000 millibuckets. Um, you can see it's got 80 blades in there. This is really what took long, uh, a long time to finish because to make these blades, you need the byproduct or the waste product of the reactor, which is uh, cyanide. And uh, the more efficient your reactor, the longer it takes to make, um, if that makes any sense. Uh, so this is the reactor. It is a seven, uh, seven by seven by uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And my initial reactor, <laughs> I swear to God, was about three times this size, producing uh, just roughly a little above this. I really did not know what I was doing. Um, so I went and uh, looked up some designs. And, and this one right now, you, you can see it's only doing 2,000 millibuckets a tick. Um, I only have the cores set at 50% uh, in, so uh, this thing should do about 4,800 millibuckets a tick. Um, but you see the efficiency is only 60, so it's pretty good now. And um, you go up here, the way, you know, I didn't use any glass on this, because uh, the glass is really hard to break. Let me tell you, on the reactor glass, I don't know if it's just me, but this... It's like breaking obsidian. Um, just the casings break like normal blocks, so that's why I just stuck with that. But uh, on the interior of this, uh, this is empty. Uh, there are diamond blocks, uh, four diamond blocks there, four diamond blocks there, four diamond blocks there, four diamond blocks there, and then all the way around on the outside is a liquid ender. Uh, this is the tank I was using. So that's how this one's built. And then um, this is putting in water from a, a, a oh darn it, a infinity pool back there. And this one puts the steam out. This was when it was a reactor uh, as a power port. And then back here is how I'm getting the fuel. I gotta find that lava. Um, this is just a gold uh, ender chest. Um, it takes eulorium out and goes in. And then the waste product. Uh, also comes into here so I can uh, up top just interact with both of them the when the yellow right is processed the lorem is processed it just automatically goes into to a deep storage unit and then, and then automatically fills that chest up okay um, let's take a look at uh, the steam turbine here I feel like I'm rushing but uh, if we look at the steam turbine this is the build uh, one thing I will tell you, if you build a uh, turbine and you don't use all glass walls, um, you're going to get bats in here, even when it's running. Which is kind of annoying, you know, you're watching your cool turbine run and there's little bats that are around here. So uh, what I what I did is just add it in. These don't go anywhere on this one, uh, this into the wall, but uh, just adds a little lighting. Hopefully I'll keep the bats out of this one too. But you can see there are 80 blades in here. Um, each one of these little blocks is a blade. There's uh, three off of each side all the way back until you get to this last one. And there's only uh, two off of each each side. So there's, there is a full 80 blades in here. And then uh, once we close it up, it will make a, um, it'll seal it up. And it's now a turbine. Let's see here that it is all good to go and I'm going to leave it at 2,000 buckets and I'm going to put a test rack there and I'm going to oh, turn it wanted to click that with an open hand that's going to be out uh, I'm going to worry about that later but this is putting steam in and this one would take water out uh, but I'm not going to mess with that at the moment so this one is going to be reactor power and it is going to be sent only. Okay, and this one is going to be reactor power, but we're going to set it to receive only fluid, and I want to just block that just to make sure. So now to uh, be able to power that, I have to go over here and uh, turn up 
the rods because right now it's uh, set very very low you can see they're only at 50% so I need to get it to uh, the control rod down to uh, normal now I think this is backwards it should be like a hundred percent in but I, I guess it's backwards uh, zero means the rod is all the way in there and if we come over here you can see now our heat's much higher. Uh, the mill buckets per tick use of fuel is much higher. So if we go over now, it should just it should be producing it already. Make sure it's okay. So if we go over here now, I know it's only showing two because that's all that it's using. Vent um, uh, overflow only, and then we're going to turn this on. And now this thing will start kind of firing up and the turbines will slowly start to turn. Now you'll notice it will take a while for the uh, the turbines to spin all the way up to the full speed. Like it it takes a while to get it up to the uh, to the uh, seventeen hundred RPM range. Hmm, it's actually going down. No bueno. Am I not producing enough? These things should be producing. It's not, because I don't have enough water. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So. <laughs> We're going to have to make some more upgrades. Let's turn this off for now. Uh, let me go take some upgrades out of Yeah. These things take too long to make. I have to cut. And... So we'll go through here. I don't know if this will help any. Yeah, maybe. It seems to be holding now. Of course, that other one is off. Let's turn this other one on again. Okay, where's the light coming from also? That's weird. Okay, let's turn it on now, see what happens. Go back and check our reactor. Nope, still not handling the water. Hmm. Hmm. Shoot. Okay, well, I'm going to pause just for a second, see if I can't figure out the water issue. Uh, that should be more than enough. Uh, maybe if I do some uh, uh, stack upgrade. Well, give me just a few, and I'm going to check this out, and then we'll be back. Okay, and we're back. I think I got it figured out. Um, this just uses up so much water that uh, I was talking about earlier, um, the water out. So basically, we're putting steam in. Um, this this test rack only does power. Uh, it's hooked to the power node there. So that's sending power out. This one is receiving water. Um the reason I'm using test racks is they don't have any um, capacity limit. You know, I mean, if you're putting in 100, you're getting out 100. Uh, you know, it's not like pipes where, you know, it's limited to a certain amount. That's why I'm using the test racks. And now this one I put on its own. Uh, it's called reactor water because what these things do... Um, why is that not... No, I don't want to vent. Do I not want to vent? Or do I want to vent? That's going down. Dump on fill. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, shoot. Now I may have screwed up again. I thought I had it on the right settings. 
Uh, okay, this one's doing fine. It's going up. It's slowing down though. I want it to speed up. It's going up now. Okay, it's going up. Okay. I don't know why it's not pumping out water. Hold on, let me go run over here. Basically what I'm doing is this is pumping out steam and uh, the water overflow is then being pumped back into the reactor that gives me enough to uh, to run that uh, the 4,000 millibuckets. Um, it should actually be able to run a little higher than that, about 800 more. Um, you see the efficiency is a little bit, or, uh, a little bit higher, so it's using a little bit more uh, of the fuel, the Elorium uh, protect, but that's okay. We've got uh, tons of this stuff. Uh, probably have over 8,000 uh, ingots by now, I'm sure. Something like that. Quite a few. Reactivity's high. So this reactor now is receiving steam and putting it back into the uh, receive only. It's receiving the water back in here. So that's how we're able to keep up because the water, the steam's going out. Uh, the water that it, I guess, makes the the condensation from the steam, whatever, it's returned back into the uh, to the uh, reactor. So this should slowly heat up until it gets up into the same range as the other one. This one slowed way down as I was making all these changes. Uh, it should be back almost up there. It's getting back up there. You can see when it gets up into the higher RPMs, how slow it goes. So it'll take it a while, but then it'll get back up to that uh, 24, 71, 77, something like that. Over 24. Now what I have to figure out how to do, uh, this is the mining laser. Uh, they're pretty good on charge right now. You know, it goes pretty quick. Uh, I don't have, like... Uh, enough energy putting into it because these things will take 20,000 per precharger okay so to fully power this thing I would need four of these okay four of those uh, those are enderium blocks uh, there's 37 enderium blocks in there those take forever for me to make because I don't have uh, applied energistics like I said so I can't just slap a recipe in there these have to be made manually um, so basically, each one of these is um, a bucket of Ender, uh, 310, and one shiny ingot, or platinum. Um, to get enough platinum to make these, I had to do. I, I made a uh, magic crop platinum seed and grew uh, a couple stacks of the uh, platinum to do this. And then, of course, you have to... It takes a bucket of Enderium, not... Uh, or uh, uh, resident ender, so you have to it, it, a lot of um, ender pearls, which isn't a big deal because you know we have our our thing in the end there, so I could get them. It's just uh, it's it, they're not easy to to make. It's not quick because I have excuse me hiccups all of a sudden. I have to wait for them to uh, be liquefied and then uh, put in there. So it does take a little bit of time to make the uh, the uh, the blocks of Enderium there. And there's, like I said, there's 37 in each of these, which I, uh, from what I've been seeing, is pretty much about the max. Um, my original design for this turbine was uh, a lot longer until I realized that I could put uh, <laughs> multiple blades together. Yeah, boy, I, I really... It, that's what took me so long, is it took forever... For me to get a decent reactor design, um, my original one was just, uh, it was so long and it wasn't producing as much. It was so high. I mean, it went way up there. Uh, I actually filled in a bunch of it just because it was bugging me. But this was way up there. And uh, I think I had like five fuel rods to start with or this might even have been a full circle i don't remember but it went way up there 
and uh, it was really inefficient. Of course, I did get a lot of uh, the uh, cyanide from it, but uh, yeah, it was bad. So this one is a lot better. You know, this thing is producing for very little uh, uh, eulorium, uh, 4,000 millibuckets per tick of steam, which, like I said, it is. It's actually can produce more than that. Um, and these only take uh, 2,000. 2,000 is the max. So when I say this is the max size turbine, that's what I mean. I mean it. It this will take 2,000 millibuckets of steam and produce 24,000 redstone flux uh, a tick. So that's the max size turbine that you can get. And that's 80 blades, 37 blocks of enderium. Uh, it's about uh, 14 long uh, and then 9 and then 9. So it's uh, whatever that is. It's 14 this way, <laughs> 9 this way, and then 9 high. Uh, again, uh, I, got, I got bats in one of these. I can hear them. Where are you? I heard you. I'm going to have to shut this thing off and go kill a bat. See, this one I made first and didn't put any window ports in there. And, I, and then uh, I'm, I, I had like 20 bats in there. And then this one, uh, when I built it, I actually... Now, the bat's in this one. Did I miss him? Where are you? I hear you, you little son of a gun. Where are you, little bastard? Where do I have bats? Oh, that's going to annoy me. I don't see him. Is he in there? Uh, he may be up above and want to, because I, this is all, of course, uh, oops, not that one. This is down in my mind, of course, so he could be, he could be in here. No telling where he's at. I'll have to, uh, track him down and, well, it sure sounds like he's coming from in here, though. I just have to wait to see him. Because if he's in here, I'm going to have to get in there and kill him. Because that's annoying. Oh, that's driving me nuts already. hate those little bats. And you can't turn them off in peaceful mode. So it's steadily climbing. Um, now, if you haven't made one of these before, you've got two sweet spots. Uh, you have um, the 800 rpm and then where we want it to get which is in the uh, 18 or i'm sorry 900 and then 1800 rpm we want to get it as close to 1800 as we can and we know from the previous one that this is going to get really really close it's going to get up into uh, you know the high 1700s um, looks like this one's going to max out no uh, still going up just a little bit but it's going really, really slow now. But still, 24,000. I mean, if you're not running a, a laser, that is more energy than you are ever going to need, um, pretty much. Because there's nothing else in this pack that requires power like this laser. Nothing. Uh, I don't even know on any other packs of anything that probably would take that much power. Uh I don't even think if you had a massive applied energistic, because right now you're talking 48,000 RF a tick right here. So that's a lot, a lot of power. Tons. So let me see, looking at the time here, real, real close. Um, sorry, I can't get into more magical crops. I really wanted to get these uh, turbines up and going. Uh, so they are now running. Uh, what I want to do next time is we'll cover more of the magical crops. Um, but real quick, for uh, I, I really suggest adding big reactors to your uh, to your pack if you don't have it. Um, it just makes things so much easier because I mean that whole big thing right there, that massive uh, resources and, and time it took to make that. Uh, if I'd have had this mod, I would never have done all that. Because, uh, I mean, like I said, this whole thing only puts out about 3,000 RF a tick. I mean, that's it. I mean, if I were to hook this up to uh, the drill, I mean, it would work. But really, really slow. Because it's going to split that 3,000 up between four different pre-chargers. There, things keep going out.
Um, it, it will work, but you would need to make this a lot more massive. And you're going to have to, uh, I mean, you can make it bigger than this, of course. I mean, you, you could you could make tons and tons of these, uh, the biogenerators and the uh, bioreactors if you needed to. I mean, it's just how much are you able to uh, produce? Like uh, with what I came up with is this is the number I needed to keep this many things full you know, running at full charge and still uh, be able to produce enough fuel for it. And by produce fuel for it, I mean you have to wait basically for the uh, the stuff to grow. And uh, really the only way, uh, well, you can see here, the only way to grow stuff in this pack without adding any extra mods is the fertilizer, which means you Need to, we'd have to have a huge area to, to grow fertilizer to be able to do all these farms. Now this one's set up um, with computer craft. I'm sure I've shown that before that it, it every five minutes or so it'll go through and, and fertilize everything. Um, it you know it pulls fertilizer down below, but um, you would need a lot more fertilizer than I'm generating to be able to do uh, carrots and potatoes also because uh, it takes a while to process everything it just depends I mean it, it would be a massive project but you could definitely do it and this is all just part of the pack stuff here none of this is uh, any additional mods uh, this is all everything in here is well with the exception of maybe the uh, the water here but um, you could use tesseracts, I'm sure. I just use the uh, the water tanks, just just cause. But everything in here can be done with just the regular pack, uh, and you can make it as massive as you need it to be, uh, be as creative as you need to be. Uh, the easiest way would probably be uh, the fertilizer, because the problem with sprinklers in a uh, situation like this is these pipes will block it and uh, automatically feeding uh, bone meal to a sprinkler is a pain and I really don't think sprinklers that they just don't speed the growth up like these uh, these lily pads do they just don't uh, try it it's just not the same they look cool but uh, they're they're more of a pain to work with because like I said the the piping you need to uh, Fill those with bone mill will actually block the sprinkler. So you gotta be real careful how you use those. Well, that's it for this week. I know it's a little off. Like I said, I just wanted to uh, show that Galactocraft is no more. Um, I didn't really get into Mind Chem. Uh, these are all Mind Chem stuff. Uh, I did have to uh, remove the mod and then start the, the game again I was getting an error uh, due to uh, I was trying out the particle physics part of it which I do not like uh, honestly it is a lot of work for very little power uh, cool but uh, uh, I kept getting an error message uh, that I had a cold particle in the wrong place bouncing around and uh, so I had to remove the mod and then I put it back in there are some uses it, it's 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 a hard mod. We'll, we'll talk about that in another one. Um, if I had applied energistics, I think this would be really, really cool. Uh, to be a, the ability just to be able to, because it's kind of like the old uh, equivalent exchange sort of thing. Uh, you can take some things and make other things from stuff, but we'll, we'll, we'll cover all that in another mod or another mod another time <laughs> i appreciate you guys coming by uh don't forget to leave a like if you like the episode uh if you have not subscribed uh just because i'm hit or miss on uh uploads you know i'm not doing this for anything other than my own enjoyment and yours of course uh make sure you subscribe that's the best way to know when i do put one out and uh i really am thinking about adding the mod it feels like it's, I'm still missing a mod. I'm, I'm missing something. Um, so I'm thinking about applied energistics. Uh, if you'd like to see me put that one in, uh, let me know in the comments or if you have another mod that uh, you think we could add that uh, would kind of round it out, let me know.
So until next time, guys, I will see y'all later.